Well, you too. We on number seven. The paint job. Um, yeah, the paint job's already been started. So, as you see, I'm in the sanding stages. Um, this Jeep is really, really giving me some work. And mainly that's because of the cheap paint job that was put on it already. So, like you can see here, I guess the camera will pick it up. You see these right here? That's the runs. There's a lot of runs in this paint. So I'm actually having to take the whole Jeep down with 80 grit uh, in order to get off that old caked up paint that was on there. Because there were some places where the paint was just not even sticking. And you can see... So there were some places where it's not sticking. Um, there were some places where it was just thrown on. And they did a lot of scuffing. But like even here, this is the tape that was left on it from when it was painted a few years ago. You know, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. This is like one of those, you know, the guy told me, the previous owner told me that he went to like one of those... Um, places where they did the one day paint job so they just basically taped it painted it and I think he said four hours later it was black it was done so anyway um moving forward this is why I got so much work now like you can even see in here where it's just caked up in it this is the kind of stuff that I gotta get to so I'm doing a lot of sanding right now as you can tell, just to bring this thing down. So what I'm doing is I'm knocking the body down with uh, 80 grit to get rid of all of that caked up paint. But you can even see here, like even with the 80 grit, it's still struggling to get all this stuff off. So I got to hit that a little bit more. Um, once I do that, then I got to step it down to get rid of all these heavy scratches because I'm sure you can see the thick scratches from the 80 grit. But once I get that down and get it smooth, um, I'm going to step it all the way from 80 up to 320 and then I'm going to put the primer on. So I'm going to put a high build primer on it, uh, let it sit overnight, and then I will be uh, blocking it out. Uh, you also notice maybe we changed the wheels. Now you're probably saying, the wheels are kind of ugly. You know, listen, she had the soft eights, she didn't really like them. So we gave her something with a little style. She 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 liked these. Now I know they're gold, and I know they're a little. Uh, eh, depends on your taste. But the thing about these rims is that they're going to be painted to match the Jeep. So everything is going to match when it's done. Uh, so after I prime it, which I'm going to do after I finish sanding this down, I'm gonna prime it tonight before I leave. So after I prime it. I am then going to uh, jack it up and take all the wheels off. Actually, I'm going to do that before I prime it. Jack it up, take all the wheels off, and uh, when I mask everything up. So it hasn't been masked up yet, as you can see. Um, but, you know, it's coming along good. Rockets are looking good. Everything is looking good. So at this point now, we're in the sanding stages. Once I get this paint pretty flat, at least get rid of almost all that other one, then I can treat it like a regular paint job. It's just, you can't just scuff up cheap paint that was already done to it because he didn't do a good job of prepping it. There were some places where I just rubbed my hand and the paint was flaking off. And you can see in the first video where it had already just fell off the hood and off the roof, you know, and you can see the original clear coat underneath. Like, they just sprayed it. So... For me, I have to get all of that down, bring it back down to the original paint job, like I did in a lot of places here, and then I can start the steps from there, bring it down till I get it to about uh get it up to 320. And then once I get it to 320, I'm gonna throw the primer on and then we'll start from there. I'll block it out, uh I'ma mask it off and then I'll do the door jams and um I will be removing the wheels, I'll be removing the bumpers. Um uh, I even did the back already so i removed the lights and the bumpers uh and the reason why i'm removing the bumpers is because the ends come around and block and um it'll just be cleaner if i do that plus you can see the bumpers need the paint jobs themselves so 
I, I don't do, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing a show car, but at the same time, she still deserves a nice paint job because that's what she's paying for. She's paying for some G7 quality, and that's what she's going to get. So the bumper's going to come off. Uh, I'm painting under the hood and the jams and the hatch. And uh, that's it, YouTube. All right. Next video will be in Primer. And uh, keep watching. Grand 7 Auto Works at NewCarsSuck.com. Well, YouTube, as you can see, the Jeep is in Primer. You guys don't know, man, I got Hercules arms right now sanding this Jeep to get it to this stage, to get it this smooth. Look how smooth this Jeep is right now. I even shaved the emblems off, so this Jeep is coming out nice, but man, a lot of sanding. A lot of sanding. I cannot stress that enough. Anyway, the promise stage is done. At this point, all I got to do is wet sand it. I threw the wheels back on because I'm getting ready to take it outside to wet sand it. As soon as I'm done making this video, I'm going to unmask it, take it outside, uh, wet sand it, and get it ready to go. But look how flat these panels are. Look how smooth everything is. See how uniform it is now? Everything is beautiful. So now it's time for the wet sanding and then some color. So the next video is going to be uh, the door jams, actually. So that's where we are. But yeah, this thing came out nice. Uh, a lot of sand in YouTube. I'm out here with the Hercules arms right now. You guys can't even see it, but whoo! Hercules, look at that muscle. Good Lord. All right. So anyway, it's time to go back to work. All right, let me unmask it. Let me get it outside so I can wet sand it. And uh, next video will be door jams. It'll be time for some color. I know you guys are waiting to see the color. So that's next. All right, Grand 7 Auto Works at NewCarsSuck.com. Well, YouTube, today was paint day. Um, I know you see the Jeep right now wrapped in plastic. Uh, today I did, uh, the jams. So, the whole body has been primed. The whole thing has been wet sanded. That's why it's covered in plastic to keep from the overspray. Oh, it's nothing but quality work over here. I told you she paid for G7 quality. That's what I'm gonna give her. So, today we did the door jams. And, um, I used a paint I never used before. It's the Eurochem, uh, base coat, clear coat system. It's a pearl paint job. Uh, I did the door jam. So let's, let's see how this came out. Hold on. Let's, let's get over here to the seat. See the color. I know you guys have been waiting to see the color. Let me pull this back. Woo! You see that color? You guys see that color? You know what that color is right there? Let me see if I can get this light on you. Oh, I know it looks like candy, but it's not candy. That's uh, pearl. So this is a purple pearl paint job. And uh, you can see the jams have been done. Oh, that's, oh, oh my. Oh my, look at that. Hold on, let's get to the back. Let's see what the back do. Oh, oh my, you can see it? See, when you take the light off, it look black. Hit it with the light, look at that. Oh my, look at that. Woo, man. You know, when she told me she wanted purple, I was like, eh. I don't know if I want to be responsible for painting a Jeep Cherokee purple, but I ain't going to lie, YouTube, this color is gorgeous. Look at that. I mean, I might not drive it, but look at it. It's beautiful, YouTube. You see this? Oh, man. Look at that. Okay, let's, let me take a look at the other side. Let's go over to the other side, YouTube. So where are we on the list? So by the way, the, the hood... Oh, we on number seven. Okay. So let's see. I need to borrow this light. But y'all see it. Look at that. I know it's going to give off a crazy reflection, but man, it's not even. I'm trying, YouTube. I'm trying not to say wet, YouTube. I'm trying. So I'm going to just leave it at moist. Oh, YouTube. This is moist. Woo. I'm, I, I'm trying, YouTube. You see it? 
Oh, that's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, my. So, anyway, the hood and the hatch have been done. So, I just had to do the doors. Tomorrow, I'm going to pull off the, um, the plastic back off. And once the plastic is back off, I'm going to just tack it all off and uh, spray the outside. But you see, even the molding, everything was removed. It was back taped. Everything was removed. Now, this was a new system for me because I've never sprayed the, um, let's check out the paint. Because I know some of you guys out there is probably like, yo, what kind of paint is that? So I'm going you know, to share with you guys, man. You know, I'm not funny like that. So this is Eurochem uh, Intruder Purple uh, Pearl Base Coat. Uh, with the high solid clear so the reason there was a delay in the paint job is because they originally sent me the wrong clear so I had to send the clear back in order to get the right clear so I didn't want to spray anything down until I had everything until everything was a go so anyway you see it gotta see the masking job you see it anyway so that's where we at so tomorrow this plastic comes off I'm gonna give it a go over with the tack cloth because it's already been wet sanded all the way up to 800 i mean y'all don't understand how bad this paint job was that was on here you know it's i had to paint analyze like csi stuff i took the gas cap the cover to my man at the paint store and had him tell me like what is wrong with this paint it just it was harder than it should have been youtube and come to find out it's tractor paint that's why this paint was giving me such a hard time it was a single stage industrial, like a fleet tractor, the kind of stuff they sell at, um, you know, like them farm and tractor supply places. That's what they painted with. That's how the guy was able to paint, get the whole Jeep painted for $400. He said that thing is like $25 a gallon. So it made my work that much harder. People keep tractor paint on tractors. I mean, if you want to paint your car with tractor paint, don't get me wrong, that paint was tough. But do a good job. Because if it falls off and flakes off like this, then somebody like me, we really got to charge you to, to do it right. So it's, it's much easier. Anyway, tomorrow, this comes off. The color's going. And um, she will officially go by her name of Purple Rain. You know, the owner's a Prince fan. And she, she wanted that purple. But she wanted the right purple. Because she likes black. She likes purple. We found this color. It's, it's black until that light hit it. When that light hit it, it turns purple. So that's what she wanted. So anyway, it's coming out beautiful, YouTube. As always. Alright, YouTube. The heater is on. I'm out here trying to bake this paint. Because uh, the temperature dropped down. It's like 50 something right now, so I'm pushing 60, I don't know. But I want that heater. The heater got the shop right now at 75. So I want it just to do what it's supposed to do, but you see it. So I already started pulling all the paper off, unmasking it, because I want everything to dry clear. I don't like to wait till the next day, and then you're trying to cut the clear coat with razor blades. I'm not really into that, YouTube, but you see. Everything is clean. It came off clean. You see the, uh, the rubber weather stripping on the seat, the door panels. Once everything is dry, it all goes back together. And then it's time to do the outside. So, as always, YouTube, I appreciate the support. Keep watching. We at, we at the end, YouTube. Grand 7 Auto Works at NewCarSuck.com.